What's up, Matt from Retrap here. In today's video, we're gonna be having a look at the Jazzic TIG 200P with a digital LCD display. This machine has been sent in directly from Jazzic for me to do a bit of a review on. And there's some uh, interesting features on this machine which I've not used before. So it should make an interesting video and uh, hopefully should learn something new. So we'll do a quick unboxing. First thing um, that I noticed about it, very small and compact for 200 amp ACDC TIG. The other feature which I really uh, am excited about trying is the wireless foot pedal. This is something that annoys the hell out of me um, every time I'm welding, having the wire from the foot pedal dragging around my seat, tripping over it. I've seen these in the past and thought that's something that I definitely should get. And uh, this machine has the option for it. So uh, yeah, it'd be nice to um, try that out. You've got this little thing so you can just hook your foot under it, drag it around. Yeah, so we'll see what that performs like in comparison to a hardwired pedal. Comes with a Parker TIG torch, which uh, these are actually quite nice torches. I've used these on uh, one of my previous machines. So it's got a nice clear display, it probably won't look that clear through the camera, but I don't want to peel this uh, film off. So this has a really simple and easy uh, user interface. As you can see, you just select whatever type of welding it is you want to do. And then you've got this adjuster to obviously turn each setting up and down. You can press the center of it and then cycle your way around. A couple of minutes of playing around and I got through every single menu. I like the fact that on AC welding you've got Hertz and your AC balance basically on the front page. Sometimes you've got to go into different menus to be able to get to your balance or your Hertz. So it is, it's nice to have that just right there. So I've got this set in uh, basic AC mode here. So I've got the main current set to 200 amps. I'm just going to use the pedal as full range Hertz 100. Uh, this one goes all the way up to 250, so we'll do a little experiment with that in a minute. AC balance, what I'm going to do now is crank this all the way up. Whoops. And just, so I'll very gently ease on the pedal and just watch the uh, tungsten until I get a little ball on the end of there. So we'll ball the tungsten, set this back to center and then we'll fine tune that as we go and we'll have a play around with the hertz.
So that's uh, initial test, just straight out of the box. Had a little play around with the Hertz settings and the AC balance. None of this has been cleaned or anything. I did wire brush that bit there just to see if it was a huge improvement or not. I did this just to show the difference um, in the Hertz setting and uh, I'm sure you could quite clearly hear the difference. I generally stick around 70 to 100 I would say is where I want to be at. 250 sounds absolutely horrendous. I wouldn't want to be uh, listening to that all day long. But if you need to pinpoint focus that arc it is um, helpful to have that I guess but it's not something I ever use. I don't ever go up that high. So let's have a go with uh, the mixed TIG because this is something that I've never used. So with the mixed TIG it's basically flicking over between AC and DC. So we can adjust the Hertz from 7 to 1 so we'll experiment with that. That's going to be similar to like your pulse settings of uh, how fast it's pulsing from high and low. This is going to be how fast it's pulsing between AC and DC. And then if I scroll along we've got our mixed percentage ratio. So this is how much DC do you want. This little bit that's coloured in there that's showing the DC side of it. This is showing the AC side of it. So that's going to be 5% DC up to 95% DC. So we'll start with 20%, go 1 hertz. Let's see what that does. Had a bit of a play around with the mix TIG. Uh, there's a hell of a lot you could do in terms of playing with different settings between the Hertz and the percentage AC to DC. Uh, the more DC you have, the more unstable it sort of seems as you're welding. Um, that was with 40%. I will say that it seems like the spread of heat is a bit more consistent, that was with 40% DC. Generally the heat will start to run away of itself and you keep backing off and backing off as you're going along. With this one, uh, it seemed like I was just holding a consistent pedal and it wasn't spreading the heat, so the heat management could be really good. I'm going to attempt, got some 6mm alley, run a bead with normal uh, AC TIG and then uh, cool it down, run it with the mixed TIG, see if I can notice any difference. So that's the first one I did, normal AC. That's the second one I did. I would say with the mixed TIG, it seems like that weld's laid in flatter. I would say I was maybe a little bit less on the pedal. And you can actually see, don't know if the camera will pick that up. You can see where it's almost starting to come through on this one. To confirm that, I would have to do it without the pedal and uh, set the amperage and then try it like that. I'll do that. on top 
not a great deal of difference. But on the back again, you can see where it's actually start to almost come through on the mixed TIG. And there's nothing on the uh, normal AC. So that is indicating to me that, that the uh, mixed TIG is definitely penetrating better than the, uh, the normal AC. So that's uh, promising. One thing I noticed is that the tungsten is wobbling all over the place when you're doing the mixed TIG at the same um, amperage range. It doesn't stay stable. Um, you can literally see it wobbling around. So I think you may have to adjust the AC balance or some other settings to get that to run stable when you're uh, using it. So I've done uh, done the same experiment on something a bit thinner. This is three mil, and I've gone with a lower fixed amperage again using the trigger option. You can see this is the mixed TIG. Definitely has started off better, but definitely similar. But on the back, completely different. That one's. Uh, come all the way through. This one, you just kind of see it. So yeah, the mixed TIG definitely does what it says uh, it should be doing. So that's gonna really help for trying to weld something thick when you only have a 200 amp machine, for sure. Right, so this is a straight DC, 60 amps, using the trigger. I've just run through different pulse settings. The only thing I've adjusted is the hertz. That's how, how fast it's pulsing up and down. So that's uh, set to 1, 2, 5, 60. It goes all the way up to 200. But what you should be able to see is that... I can get it to focus. Come on. There it is. So you can see one, the ripples are a bit more spread out. Two, getting a bit closer. At five, quite difficult to see the definition, but you can still see them. And then by the time you get up to 60, it's just sort of all blended in. And then obviously anything above that, you're not really gonna see it. Five's really painful to look at. It's like watching strobe. So, Overall, um, first impressions of the Jazzic. This is my first time doing anything with a Jazzic machine. I do like how compact it is. The fit and finish on it is very nice. Lots you can dive into on the settings. Um, little things like quick release gas fittings front and rear, I like. It's got very simple to use, intuitive menu that it's easy to find the settings you need and they've designed it so that those settings are right there when you're welding for each specific process, which I really like. The wireless pedal, I like the concept, not having that um, lead to trip on is great. The only thing I don't like about this pedal is there's a lot of movement. Uh, the other pedals I use are a lot more sensitive, so that is still taking some getting used to. Uh, I definitely prefer a more sensitive foot pedal. I think if you are just learning, this could actually be beneficial because you've kind of got more room for error. Just to give you an example, that's the full range of motion on my 
HDP pedal, which is, uh, is very similar to my Lincoln one. Um, whereas this one, you're probably talking twice the amount of movement. So that's that. The other thing is that when it's sat for a little bit, it will turn itself off and then you have to turn it on again. And um, it takes maybe 20, 30 seconds for it to wake up. Not really an issue, but just something that I noticed that is different from having a uh, hard wired pedal. Wireless torch would be nice. But yeah, uh, overall my, my first impressions of Jazzic as a brand is quite a pleasant one. Obviously I'm taking something brand new out of the box and trying it out. Most people are going to want to know what the reliability of something's like. I can't uh, comment on that. So if you didn't already know, I'm running welding classes now here at Urchfab. So if you want to come down and uh, have me teach you how to weld, then you are welcome to come and spend the day here. The details for that are uh, on my website, urchfab.com. I'll have a range of different uh, machines here so you can come and try out all sorts of different stuff. All these machines essentially do the same thing, but they do have different sort of traits and some machines are better at some things than others and some of them are easier and a bit more simple to set up than others. Um, thanks to Jazzic for sending this in to do a uh, review on and I'm going to continue to have a bit of a play around with the uh, settings on this and dive a bit deeper and see what else it can do. That's going to be it for this one. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one.